Hello, this is Ember. I am here on my eighth weekly talking fun, and today is a really fun day to say. It's 07-27-2011. Ah, anyway, sorry, I just think that's fun that it rhymes. Um, I'm really awkward right now because I've been trying to record my vlog, and something always has been happening, like, to distract me. So... If something happens to distract me, screw it. I'm just gonna sit here and freaking vlog. So hey, uh, how are you guys? Um, not that I can like wait for you to respond or anything, but um, first thing I want to talk about today, Spacebar Clown. Um, I uh, I told you guys about it in what two vlogs ago. Um, but the Grey Fu released his WoW album, Space Bar Clown, and you can buy it on CD Baby and iTunes. Just search Space Bar Clown. Um, the three songs that I collabed with him on are on the CD. So uh, go ahead and check that out. Dead and Loving It, Sentinel Hill, and Exit Our Disco. The ones you've all been waiting for. Or I hope that you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Not to be conceited or anything. Um, yeah, so that's very important. You should go check that out. Um, especially if you've been wanting to hear those songs again on your iPod or on your CD player. Um, so yeah, second thing I want to do, I'm going to cross these off my list because I always find myself looking at my list and saying something again or in my head. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to stay organized. And you know, to be honest, right now I'm not I'm not in any <sighs> I'm not in the mood to do this vlog right now. <laughs> I really don't want to do it. But um I said I'd do it because I'm doing these weekly, so I'm gonna do it weekly. Um so yeah, let me cross that off. Uh Space Park Clown. You guys should check out Space Park Clown. Um, second thing I want to say is thank you so much to Charm for the epic shout out in her last vlog. Um, Charm, if you guys don't know her, her channel is Tainted Lore. It's youtube.com slash Tainted Lore. But she has another channel, which is her vlog channel, and it's youtube.com slash Charm AFK. And she's such a sweetheart because she told me she shout, she made a shout out. And I watched the vlog and I'm like, that is so much more than a shout out. Like, it was so nice. She actually like, like talked about me, and I feel so special. So thank you so much, Charm, for making me, sp making me, making me special feel. Making me feel special. I can't speak the English right now. I'm sorry. See, this is why I'm not like, <laughs> like, I'm not in a good, a good spot to vlog right now. But that's okay, because you guys get to see how weird I am, and that's totally fine. Because I'm pretty weird, and I don't want to hide it in my in my vlogs. I'm not going to sit here and edit. I thought, okay, so here, tangent, we, um, I, <laughs> I wanted to edit my vlogs, you know, do that jump cut stuff and make it all pretty and even get all dolled up for you guys because, you know, sometimes the main reason why I wanted to do it is because I want to entertain you. So, <laughs> but I feel like I'm I'm pretty entertaining without all that stuff, right? Or I can be sometimes. Um, I just don't want to do that all the time, especially in a vlog. Because I really do feel like vlogs are, like, the thing that... that help your viewers get to know you, right? So it's like the people that want to watch, they'll watch. If, if they don't want to watch because it's too fucking long, they won't watch, or they don't have to watch. Sorry. I swore. And now I squished my chapstick, and it's gross. So anyway, um, thank you, Charm. I'm going to cross that off now. Ah. Yay! Okay, um, something else I wanted to say is, uh, this, you know my, my Boomkin parody? Um, the artwork of the Moonkin that is on the background image that I used, um, I've had more than a few people actually message me and claim that the artwork is theirs. And that's kind of weird, because they're all different people. So, um, it's weird. Like, 
I would like to know who painted the actual picture because when I found the image, I, you know, I'm bad. I found it on a Google search. And I want to know who painted it. But there's like five people saying like, oh, that's my artwork. Please credit me in your description and link my YouTube channel and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, well, obviously, you know, all five of these people are not legit. And I'm actually wondering if maybe they think... I don't know what they think. It's just weird. So, anyway. But, the main reason why I brought that up was I actually didn't... I was curious. So, a couple days ago, I I searched Google again. And I just searched Moonkin. And I found this really, really awesome picture of a an artist rendition of a female night elf Moonkin. And... It was actually, uh, it was, it looked like an owl, but it was like skinny and like curvy and, you know, not big and fluffy. Like, I, I would show you the artwork, but I never asked the artist if I could show it, so, but, um, I will say her deviant art is, what's it called? I have it open. Um, Hitsuji Fox. Hitsuji? Hitsuji Fox? On DeviantArt? Um, and I have to warn you, her artwork is not safe for work. Um, but she's... She's amazing. And she does a lot of... Uh, she has a lot of WoW con concept art, which is really cool. Like, characters from WoW seen differently. So, I didn't tell her I was going to shout her out in, the, in my vlog. So, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what to do about that. You can go to her page, say that I saw it, and maybe I brought you there, but I don't know her. I don't know her at all, but I just know that she's really good, and I just wanted to point you in that direction. So, Hitsuji Fox on DeviantArt. That's HitsujiFox.DeviantArt.com. Not safe for work, so don't be bad and go there if you're underage. Um, <laughs> so, now that that's out of the way... Um, I don't really have anything else important or of of wow or yeah I guess I do okay Firelands dailies I'm doing Firelands dailies we um, I am working well I guess I it's not really working on whatever because the way they Blizzard made it it's eh. like and I was talking about this on my live stream last Sunday um, and I, it wasn't like an argument. I wasn't trying to argue with anybody. I was actually just trying to find clarification. Um, so you know how there's the Shadow Wardens and there's the Druids of the Talon? You can do either one, right? Like today, let's say I want to do Druid of the Talon. I cannot do... Shadow Wardens in the same day, right? I can't do Druid of the Talon and Shadow Wardens quests in the same day. But if I wanted to, I could do Druid of the Talon today and then do Shadow Warden tomorrow, but I would still just get Marks of the World Tree, right? So once I get 125 Marks of the World Tree, I have to choose which faction to unlock, right? Right? Is that how it works? I just want to be clear on that, because um, I read I read the stuff about it, and I'm just like, okay, I think that's how it is, so that's how it is. Yeah, I don't know, but the Firelands dailies are fun. I really like the Druid of the Talon ones, falling into the pit, and you know, with the flame guys. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then sorry. Um, oh, and I finally, finally got my weapons in Zulgrub. Thank you. Um, I leveled my archaeology to 225 just so I could summon that freaking boss. And so it's like the fist weapons. I was going for the agility fist weapons because I'm an enhancement shaman. Woo. Um, and I swear, it's like it was a chance and a chance and a chance because, you know, there's the drop rate, which... I don't know why, but it's always it always seemed to be really low for me because I've ran ZG like a hundred times. And then there's the chance of the right boss to spawn. <laughs> so, and then before I leveled archaeology, there was the chance that somebody would have archaeology in my group that I was hoping for, so I leveled it myself so that I wouldn't have that chance. But I got them, 
thank goodness. And it was one right after the other. Like, I did a ZGE, and then I got the offhand, and I was like, woo! And then I did another ZGE random, and I got the main hand, and it was like, yeah! So, yay. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any better weapons than that, because I don't raid. I would like to. Like, I was lucky last week on uh, Wednesday when my guild asked me to come with them for Nefarian. That was really cool. I would like to raid if it's like that. I mean, not... Okay, what I mean is, like, I don't want to spend, like, you know, more than four or five hours in in a raid on one boss. I mean, granted, last week it was the last boss, so that's okay. That was, like, an exception. But, like... I don't know, I just feel like raids are so long. It's like not my style, but I would like to do them because they have, you know, the better gear, so that kind of sucks. But, eh, meh, oh well. <laughs> so, uh, other than that, I have no updates on my cosplay because I haven't been working on it. I feel really bad. I really, I need to go to this place called Tab Plastics and get rubber for the hoof or for the bottom for, like, to protect the metal and protect the floor <laughs> so I don't mess up the floor. Um, but I haven't done that because I don't know why. I have no excuse. I have no excuse for not going. I need to just go and freaking do it. Kind of like how I'm doing this vlog. I really don't feel like doing it right now, but I'm doing it because I need to do it. Um, and I have a random question for you guys. Do you like me with or without my glasses? Because I like my glasses and I don't like my glasses. I don't know. Hmm. I feel like being weird today. Because I feel like in my previous vlogs, I haven't been really letting you guys get to know me. Because I'm still kind of nervous about people getting to know Ember, you know? Getting to know the me behind the me, behind the, the avatar, you know what I mean? So, I guess I'm really just not caring about that anymore. Because I am who I am. And I feel like a lot of things are adding up to I need to just be myself because people are asking me for tips on vlogging and and I don't know I just I noticed that like a lot more people are contacting me oh and one of the reasons why that is I used to have my YouTube only set so that friends could message me I turned it off because I feel like why should I filter that? If somebody wants to take the time to send me a message and then they find out that they can't because they didn't friend me, that's kind of like, oh, that sucks because I know how that feels. When I want to send somebody a message just to say like, like, hey, this is really cool or, you know, not to troll because I hate getting messages like that and thank God I haven't gotten any messages like that. All the messages I've gotten from people are amazing, like complimenting, just uh, even asking questions about like, how I edit my music, how to make my background for my channel, all this stuff. It's really neat. Um, and ever since I uh, removed that thing so that friends only could message me, I've been getting I've been getting messages every day. I didn't even know that people were trying to message me. Like, like it's a, it's a, it was a big difference. I'm not trying to say that I'm like really popular and woo. I'm getting all these messages and fan mail and blah 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 because I really still feel weird about saying that I have fans, because that's really weird to me. Um, not to put you guys down or anything, because I really enjoy having fans. And if you consider yourself a fan, thank you so much. That's amazing, and it boggles my mind to think that. But anyway, um, I love you guys, like. <laughs> You guys are the reason why I do what I what I'm doing. You're the reason why I put myself out there, and I want to keep doing it. And that's why I'm here, strapping myself down, doing this vlog. I don't want to do it, but I'm doing it for you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and kind of me, but a little bit, just a little bit. I don't really want to, but I'm here. So anyway, um, other personal things. I got new earrings. Like, okay, so I have three holes in my head. I have, well, other than, like, you know, <laughs> my nose, my mouth, my eyes. Anyway, um, so I have these earrings 
I have I have one hole in this ear and then I have two holes in this ear and uh, these earrings I wear all the time I like it it's an onk it's supposed to symbolize life right I don't I don't really know all the all the the stuff about it but I really like Egyptian culture if you guys didn't know that I have an Anubis back behind me I love jackals if you didn't know that there's a little jackal right here Ugh. it's dusty I need to dust um, but yeah, so I like Ankh, I like, I like Egyptian stuff, I have Egyptian stuff all over, but, um, this second hole, I only have two in this year, or I only have one in this year, because I have a mole, I have a mole right there, see the little dot, that's where I would want an earring to be, and I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to pierce, like, I don't know, I'm afraid that it's, like, going to be cancerous if I, like, you know, poke it, or... It's, like, right where the hole would be. Ugh. Anyway, I'm so annoyed with my body. But anyway, um, this one, the second hole... Oh, look, I have a mole right there, too. I keep forgetting. See that? Weird. But it's not where my earring hole would be, so... But the second hole, I did it myself. I poked that myself when I was in high school. Or was it after high school? I don't remember, but this was, like... I don't know what early early 2000 2002 maybe I don't know um, it was admittedly a self mutilation thing it was just, I was crazy I was emo this was years ago maybe that's too much information for you guys but it was better than cutting myself so I am very against that kind of emo release of feelings or whatever but yeah, I did that myself and <laughs> ever since ever since I did it I decided that it was gonna be like my signature thing to always have very long a very long earring in it so I went out and I got all these earrings over there see all those dangly things those are all earrings they're really long um, I just went out on Sunday yeah, before I live streamed, I went and I got my car looked at and I got my tires rotated, all that junk. You don't need to know about that. But I uh, I went to the mall and got a buttload of earrings. <laughs> so uh, it's really funny because I didn't get earrings for for my main my main earrings. <laughs> I just got a bunch of long ones to 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 just change it up. I mainly needed to get new earrings for, for this hole because I lost my favorite one. I don't know where it is ever since, uh, what, two vlogs ago? I lost it. I don't know where it is. It was just a thin little chain with six little crosses on it. It was really pretty. I don't know where it is now. It's probably somewhere in my room. I'll probably vacuum it up eventually. But till then, I have a bunch to choose from. So there's a little bit about me personally. <laughs> Um, another personal thing that I've been really into lately, sorry that this is a long vlog, guys, but I really am just, you know, I just want to poop this all out here, so, yeah, um, I've been watching Battlestar Galactica lately, so woo, BSG fans, if you're a BSG fan, I love Battlestar Galactica, um, I have it on DVD, so I've been watching it on DVD, um, and I don't know, like, uh, Nuku just randomly decided he wanted to start watching it. I, I started watching it, I don't know, a few weeks ago. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't, like, watching every episode with him. But once he got to, like, season three, I was like, oh, you know, I, because I've seen, I've seen season one and two twice already. Or I've seen season one, I think, three times already. I love the show. Um, <laughs> but once he got to season three, I was like, ooh, I want to start watching it again, like, regularly. And uh, we got to season four, and then I realized we don't have season... We don't have the end of the season, because we bought the first half of the season when the second half was already on, was on TV. So I totally forgot that we didn't have the end. So we're two episodes away from needing to go out and buy the DVD, or the, the last set, so I'm like, ugh. So while I was on my Battlestar trip, like, last night, 
I I made an account on the the MMO. There's a Battlestar Galactica MMO online. I had no idea. It's free to play. Um, I I only checked it out for like what ten minutes last night, and uh, then I went on a Bear McCreary trip. Bear McCreary is the uh, the composer for Battlestar Galactica, the show, and Caprica, um, which I never really saw. But then I heard I heard that they just canceled it. I was like, oh, well, maybe it wasn't that good. Um, but anyway, so I've been on a BSG trip, and if you're a BSG fan, please comment below, because it's fun. And actually, I... Oh, that brings me to something else. Okay. Um, my I have another channel. It's uh, It was going to be my Second Life channel. You know the game Second Life? If you guys don't know about it, then you don't need to know about it. Um, it's just one of those IMVU kind of like visual graphical chat room things where you have an avatar that you can customize and blah blah blah. So um I have another channel that was what I was meaning to say, youtube.com slash Hizolta Ember. And I'm actually gonna start posting videos to that channel. Um like I I had this thing a while back of should I have another channel? Should I just use this channel? Um and I really, really was thinking I should just use this channel. But I may be able to partner the other channel. So call me a sellout. I don't care. I <laughs> If I can make money from videos, hey, you know what? I'm going to make money from videos. If you could do it, I'm sure you would too. So what I want to do on the other channel is gameplay, commentary, reviews of not just WoW, but other games. So I might be asking you guys for recommendations. Um, for now, probably just review the games that I have that you guys don't know I play. Ooh. Um, or if you've friended me on Steam, you probably know the games that I have. Um, I don't know what my Steam ID is. I thought it was Ember Azulta, but I think it's Ember Jackal. So I really like jackals. You guys didn't know that. My first son is a blackback jackal. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway. So, um... Friend me on Steam if you guys have Steam. Um, I'm really shy about playing games with people. You can ask Nana, Nana Nia. Wow. Um, I haven't even played Portal 2 with her yet, but I, I want to. But I'm I don't know what it is. It's weird. I'm I'm kind of shy about playing games with people. Um, but I need to get over it, and I'm gonna get over it. So <laughs> anyway. Um, subscribe to my other channel. It's youtube.com slash Isolta Ember. It looks like Isoltember. It's kind of weird looking, but eh, whatever. It's still me. So, uh, that is it. That is all I have on this list. And I think I have talked your guys' ears off. So, you're free to go now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my vlog, for subscribing, for for being here. I appreciate your existence. <laughs> and I'm in a really weird mood. I'm so sorry. Okay. I will see you guys next time. This is Ember Azulta, and I'm out. Bye! <laughs>